Okay, on the bottom left hand side we've got Skyro playing Ragda in the red versus Psychoia playing Elodie up in the top in the pink. So I'm curious how this is going to play out. We haven't seen too much of these two commanders. I mean, I've seen a little bit of Ragnar. Ragnar definitely has some cool tools that she didn't before. The trade-off, however, is that Ragnar lost just like a ton of raw damage. Which, uh, you know, was kind of like what made Ragnar like so devastatingly strong. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got swords down their thing, putting in some good work. Right now, gonna be able to put in some work too. I'm gonna knock down that village, and you know this is pretty standard opening for Headland. Although there is a slight deviation here, you can actually heal off of this village with your commander, and that does actually work out quite well because it does allow you to knock down this village. It gives you just enough health to like 70% will knock down a 50 health village, and it means this sword can be moved forward more aggressively. You have a little bit more gold because. Uh, obviously, you're not healing your commander for as much, and this sword can actually escape. And frog already, that's actually kind of incredible. I actually just missed it getting built. And I'm really curious to see what this frog is going to do. And why wow, we're already seeing these swords going forward. LED just gonna sit here and hit this building. Sykoya already putting in a lot of work. And yeah, what is this frog for? I'm so curious about it. Skyro, I mean, they're like... Gonna come forwards. That's pretty spooky. You don't really want to have a low health commander up near Ragna. Ragna could go for some kind of trap play. It's a full health Ragna too. I think Sykoya is going to have to back up to some direction and I like that actually swapping the two swords so you have a full health sword able to put in some damage get healed up and then follow up swords able to do their thing and yeah like Sykora is just like wait there's a Ragnar here I need to back up I don't want to lose and Skyro yeah they're just lining up some knights oh First shield jump comes in. Oh, big damage. And yeah, those are two very dead units. Regular sword hit is actually going to be able to kill there. Oh, crit on the frog as well. And there, that's a really nice Ragnar groove. Comes out very early. Does some good damage. Oh, sword, however, going to get picked up. And that's going to open up the kill on the mage. So, yeah, Sykoya, they're still in it. And they have Groove now. And they're already going to start building up towards tier 2. And tier 2 LED is the really spooky thing. Oh, and there Ragna. A little bit in trouble. Obviously not dead yet. And you know, there's some good counter attacks here. We're going to see, you know, the enemy knight go down. Ragna's going to be able to... Oh, actually Ragna's going to go on the knight. I would have thought they would use like the wagon and the spear to do this, but I like not to. Okay, and the wagon's gonna move back. And yeah, weak sword gonna go from that capture from the village. And yeah, knight goes over here. Second knight lines up a crit to support. Actually no, it doesn't actually have the crit lined up on that knight. Interesting. I guess they're just lined up to be aggressive in general. Yeah, Sakura is just going to keep pushing forwards. And because Elodie. Oh! Frog pull does really good damage. Knocks down the village without a uh, unit actually having to hit it. And you're just going to see that capture coming in. And yeah, as long as that frog stays alive, which I don't think it will for long. Yeah, a sword. You just sacrifice a sword to kill it at this point. Absolutely worth it. Here, Ragnar. Already working away. Yep, already has another tier one. 
But then again, Sakura's army is over on this right hand side, so I think Sakura is like okay taking some like not great trades over on the on the left hand side, but and what we're gonna have to see now is can Sakura defend because that stronghold is looking very vulnerable. Second frog. Fair enough. I mean, Sakura is kind of the master of like pulling off neat tricks with frogs. I'm curious to see how they're actually going to be able to make use of this one. The first one did all right. It did. It did pretty well. It got a couple kills. It did tank like a hit as well. So that's the thing about frogs too. Like if they take a bunch of damage, they're okay with that because like their main damage output is not going to be directly attacking it's going to be going for like those pulls pulling things into other things pulling your own units into range to be able to do things and LED sitting on tier two not really able to get into a good position with it at least not yet we'll see if that continues to be the case and ooh, Skyr is really putting a lot of pressure up on that top of the corner you know, on the flip side, they have to now defend over here. And they have a lot of anti-air. So, four air units. They can all hit that dragon. One of them able to one-shot it, so... You know, what are they going to do? And yeah, Sakura is just like, well, i got to keep building stuff. And actually, while all of this fighting is going on... Sakura is in a position where... They're not building Groove anymore. They've got their tier 2, but they aren't building anything more than that. I like this use of the uh, corner there, putting the air trooper hidden away. Can't get uh, attacked by a knight or actually anything else. Oh, tower goes down. The tower gets flipped. That's really bad, actually. And the positioning on the knight actually means that those air troopers can't crit it, so... Nice play there from Skyro. Actually, gonna move that over to the top corner so I can see this corner over here a bit better. Another frog comes out. Sakoya is just like, I'm gonna keep building frogs. And I guess maybe the plan here is to like yoink an enemy unit into range so they can converse it with their commander. I guess like the other cool thing here about frogs too is they can make very good use of these river tiles, so they have a lot more mobility in the center. Oh, pulls the spear back to safety. I really like that actually. Gives it, a, I think it can still take a lot of damage, but it means that it will crit and counter attack. And yeah, so Kora just gonna continue to build frogs, continue to make use of them. Meanwhile, Skyro is flipping production, so that village goes down. Has their own frog coming forwards, and which is actually the first time we're really seeing people make frogs. At least on this scale. I think we've seen like a little bit of naval. I personally actually went Merfolk. Uh, at least in one of my matches. So you get actually quite a lot of use out of Merfolk on this map too. But mostly just seeing frogs for the moment. Nice hit there with the air trooper. And yeah there's no knight to threaten this tower right now. And actually doesn't even position it to. Takoya is actually okay with being... A little bit behind on the production front. Okay. Pulls the frog, pulls the other frog back. I'm just seeing chains of uh, using these to reposition. Okay, and yeah, Skyro is just going to heal that up. So, losing in unit count there, but doing okay gold damage. Just slows down that advance on the top left a little bit. Yeah, Skyro, I believe, yeah, they're sitting on tier 2 now, so Ragnar's really spooky at this point. You have to be, like, careful. You could you could lose your stronghold, honestly. Ragnar can do a ton of damage. There's a lot of really cool plays you can do with uh, both tier 1 and tier 2 grooves. The pushback is extremely powerful. And meanwhile, Sakoya is just, like, trying to keep in this game, building very defensive units over here. Like spear and mage to deal with the air that's going to come out of that tower. 
And yeah, just using frogs to reposition. This is actually just like a lot of really cool small plays here coming out from these frogs. But I Sakura just can't flip the tower and being behind on production is really unpleasant. The thief comes out. I wonder if the thief's gonna go all the way down to just try and flip that tower. Alright, big shield jumps come in. Where is it gonna land? Oh, in the top. Okay, I was expecting over here maybe, but no. Just gonna absolutely crush everything defending this barracks. And we're just gonna see... Yeah, it's getting flipped. I mean, oh, that poor archer was trapped between the balloon uh, and where it was standing. So yeah, it just gets one shot. And it collides with the balloon to deal some damage to the balloon too. Okay. But now Sequoia is, has a little bit of relief after that, actually. Because now they know that there's no threat of Groove coming out here. So they can just kind of move their stuff forwards. Don't have to worry about Rag to just like one-shotting like a big chunk of the army or killing the commander. The lethal opportunities are going to be gone now. Air Trooper balloons away. You don't actually get to see that kind of interaction too often, so. Yeah, however, yeah, like sword crit onto this. Rang are going to follow up. And that barracks is not long for this world. That's actually going to get flipped fairly soon. And when that happens... Yeah, Night Crit comes in. Sakura's going to be down to one barracks and one hideout and one port, actually. And we might even see something like Merfolk getting built. We might even see like a, a Kraken come out. Just so they can defend here. Because they are so far behind on production. Okay, units coming forwards. We're starting to see more stuff getting flipped. This tower is basically being left on. I guess you just camp it with the mage. <coughs> Not putting some work. Three frogs now right, for Sequoia. And yeah, they're just lining up to kill the strongholds. Because yeah, Ragnar's up here. Can't defend anymore. And Skaru, I mean, they have to do something. Oh, and Elodie has tier 2 groove, so anything that happens here, any unit that like is placed in front to defend, they have to be able to, and they have to be able to like make sure they can. And oh, Skaru's going to do so much damage this turn. I mean, Sequoia, you know, they needed to position aggressively because, you know, if they don't, then like they're just going to fall behind because, yeah, they just don't have the same production. But... How is this going to play out? I mean, there's so much damage coming in here. And, oh yeah, Skyro is actually set up for lethal this turn. So, yeah, Sequoia has to end the game. They have to end the game, like, right now. Or they're going to lose, because there's just way too much. Alright, moves one night back. Okay, are they just going to accept that they can't end the game this turn? They're just going to go for damage? Okay. We're seeing pull come in. Sword. Oh, gets the kill on that mage. Nice follow up. Okay. Gonna grab the harpy. So after all that, they're gonna take a harpy. And they're actually just gonna trade for this turn. So they I guess Sakura thinks they can actually defend for a turn. And your dragon comes forwards. Are they confident that they're going to be able to kill the mage or are they going to pull it back with a frog no they're actually just going to let the dragon take a bunch of damage that's pretty spooky okay we're gonna pull oh gets the harpy into position for defense oh nice steal there from the thief i don't know if the thief can go down ragnar does have ragnar Wow, Ragnar almost has tier two again oh wow there's so much combat going on and they might actually get tier two as well more and more units going down. I don't know why you would hit the dragon there when the witch would be able to do it. But witch actually could do a big hex. It's a lot more damage coming in. That dog goes down. Archer going to be able to do some damage. Tier 2 groove again. So quick. Back to back. Alright, knocks the golem out of the way. 
Is this going to be under the stronghold? It might. Will the knight actually do the damage? No, 4% left. And this is a point in time where the stronghold is still getting the health regen bug. So that's going to be at 24%. And I guess the question here is, can Sykora either defend or can they end the game? I think there's just a little bit too much in front of the stronghold now. Things are not looking good for Sykora. And are they going to try and go for some kind of lethal on Ragnar? 20% damage is pretty huge. Harpy follow up. Oh, that's also going to do some big damage. All right, unit goes down. And I guess they're going to try and kill a bunch of stuff with LED or to get LED groove. All right, 58. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be enough. But they're going to keep going. They're doing a lot of damage, 72%. Spear does some damage. Dog goes down, 80%. Another dog goes down, 86%. Golem comes in. That's going to hit Ragnar. Oh, I think it's just not quite enough. And I guess the plan there was like, maybe Elodie could steal something. But Ragnar's just like a little bit too high health and... Yeah, there's just too much stuff here on this north side. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate. LED just not able to build up another tier 1. I don't even quite know what they would do with it. Um, but yeah, nice, just going to hit the stronghold. And well played to Skyro, taking the game. There are two back-to-back -back Ragnar Grooves. And that was a, that was a hell of a game. Very close, actually, on the kill there. If they'd had, if like, oh, if they had like a mage, they could have like healed their golem, maybe. Had that able to do some damage, maybe. But yeah, that's a rough one. I think maybe the idea was like, if Elodie had been able to grab like a dog and like suicided it into Ragna, maybe that could have worked. But yeah, it's like a difficult thing to get to. To have work and like oh you would need like such a weird setup for it too so if elodie had a groove like i guess like if there was a witch as well but there's no tower so you can't build a witch so you would need to like weaken the opponent's dog first and then have it suicide into ragna but yeah there just wasn't enough groove from elodie so sadly that was not going to be the case and skyro just had a really good defense had a really good offense like sequoia I guess like the idea would be like if you could flip the tower or something, maybe like make the game go a bit longer. But Ragnar is so devastating on the offense, especially on a low unit count, because the thing that prevents Ragnar from just jumping in like that is she's very vulnerable to getting killed. But if you have like just a handful of units on defense that could potentially hold against like a, a small army of aggressors because you've got the reinforcement from the barracks, Ragnar just crushes all that, just kills everything. Uh, and then your unit, your army just mops up and, you know, she was able to flip the barracks pretty quickly too after that point because she's just such a good combat unit. So she really thrives in areas where, like, there's a low unit count and her groove is still extremely deadly. Uh, of course, it's not quite this, as powerful as the uh, War Groove 1 groove, but as we saw, able to fully do enough damage to, like, crush through her front. Any kind of weak spot, Ragnar can exploit that. And Elodie just wasn't able to grab anything. Like, Sequoia had many, many turns of fully charged groove and going in for fights afterwards and just wasn't able to do a follow-up. So, nicely done there from Skyro to be able to, like, zone out Elodie like that and push up on the north side. It was a really good offense right there.